My name is Rich Perigini. I'm an assistant professor of surgery here at the University of Massachusetts Medical School, and I'm the surgical director of the Weight Center. And my particular interest and focus is the impact of bariatric surgery on uh, management of type 2 diabetes. Of patients who come to our program for weight loss surgery, um, particularly at um, a ruin y gastric bypass, who need medications in order to maintain um, adequate blood sugar control, that's a definition that I'm using for type 2 diabetes. 40% uh, will leave the hospital after their uh, operation off of any kind of medications with good, good blood sugar control. Um, by uh, one year postoperatively, uh, about 65% uh, uh, will be off of all blood sugar medications and with good glycemic control. Um, and that number, I think, maximizes that to between 70 and 75 percent. The database we have is a um, continually adding patients, and so we're continually following patients. And so the oldest patients in our database probably are at um, seven to eight years or so from surgery. And um, the effect is durable on a good percentage of patients, but certainly there are also some patients in which uh, type 2 diabetes reemerges down the road. When we consider weight loss surgery um, or any surgery, we're really trying to balance risks against the benefits. So um, for somebody who has no medical problems, weight loss surgery has some obvious um, benefits. Um, if you can lose 150 pounds, it's certainly going to make certain things better, such as sleep apnea, such as um, uh, weight-bearing joint pain and things like that. But um, if you really want to look at where the risk-benefit ratio is maximized, it really is in, in the patient who has type 2 diabetes or is, is very close to developing type 2 diabetes. Um, so in that patient population, they can get all the, all the weight loss benefit that I described for the first patient. However, they also have a major metabolic benefit of, of losing their type 2 diabetes um, or, I should say, achieving adequate glycemic control without the use of medications. Um, the impact of that on quality of life and length of life is really, um, really very, very good.